Alright, so today we're gonna add an IP camera to a DVR or NVR. So the IP camera should be on the same network. Uh, let's say you switched it, you, add, you added the camera to a switch, a PoE switch, and uh, you go NVR on the same network or a DVR on the same network, and you want to add the IP camera to your recorder. It can DVR or NVR. Uh, so uh, now we can see, as you can see on the screen, I got this uh, inactive IP camera on the network. Then I have this uh, four channel recorder. You can ignore the rest actually. Uh, just focus on this four channel recorder and this IP camera there. You want to add this IP camera to this recorder, which is this is actually a DVR, but we can still add it as I said. So uh, let's activate this camera first. Uh, let's put the same password as we have on the your recorder. So whatever password you have on your recorder, use the same password for your camera. Activate this. Uh, so that device is active. Uh, put the, for example, ABCD, D3. Uh, that's exactly my details. Very, very right. You know, so confirm so that's done you can ignore it if you want to but yeah so also try to enable DHCP uh, okay so DHCP will pick up a local IP address from the router uh, and if you have a DHCP enabled on your recorder you will have the all on the same network so right now as you can see this is on a different IP and you got different range for your recorder because we are targeting this recorder here so that was the camera and that's the recorder if you see the standard folder range this is 192 so if you go on the DSCP enable and put the password for the camera and modify it this should uh, take the change this to similar to this one so if you refresh your CTP tool now um, and then you can see the IP has changed from uh, 192.10.4.4.15 so that's your IP for your camera now you already have the password because it was inactive and you put the password to make it active so you know the password let's go to the recorder recorder I have is 4 channel there its address is 10.4.4.14 so I will go to my Internet Explorer browser I'll put this one there the IP address which is coming from here you see this coming from here and then you put the password uh, for your recorder and now we're gonna go to configuration tab we're gonna go to camera management and we are adding an IP camera there click on add here we're gonna put the address of what well, of the camera so 10 of sorry 10 dot 4 dot 4 dot and the IP address is 15 and let's check again just to be on safe side you see that's the camera we want to add and that's the IP so add 10.4.4.15 hey for an admin password is the one which you give and you, you are activating the camera and most probably is the same as you have on the recorder press ok so now it says offline for now uh, IP camera exception let's go to user manager go to camera manager again it says we but online there you go that's it thanks for watching